I'm gonna be very intentional, young man. I want you to know that. So everything I do that should leave my full chest. I, did, I never saw my eviction coming for stage because I kept believing in myself and hoping I would make it for but it's okay. There's only gonna be one winner. But then when I was evicted, I, I would say it was it was a cushion for me because Billy just left. Yeah. So that made it kinda easy for me to walk out the door. People said I left too happily, but my dear, when they evict you, you can't turn back. You have to go out. Well, I tell people for this show, there's really no right or wrong. It's not like a football game where you score goals or something like that. It's a social experiment. It's a human game. Do something you hope the world loves it. Something you hope they love you as well. And then the main point of the whole thing is to create drama, which I think I did excellently. Exactly. Just that. That would be very intentional, young man. I want you to know that. So everything I did that should leave my full chest. Now when I um, told Mimi that that uh, task that people are giving mm. I just kind of like, I don't want to give you, I'm going to give you a quick, a quick summary. So people that gave me a task to uh, do this, do, 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 for 200 Abeg Naira. 200 Abeg Naira wrote six loads of rain in the house. So Nini was crying and I needed to come through for her as a friend. So I put her emotions over the 200 Abeg Naira, which was exactly what happened. And the task wasn't tell Nini I leave the house, it was 200 Abeg Naira. I hope that makes sense. I, I think it does. It's hard to summarize because you, you have to watch the whole show. Let me just watch a short clip and judge the whole thing. Okay. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> the next thing for me was when he was whisked away because we weren't giving proper information about where she went, so we all drew conclusion that she had a mental breakdown because okay. of what she did before she left. Yeah. And I felt most guilty because we had a fight in which I shattered her heart, so I felt like I was the trigger for her crossing the other side. Okay. And then if she did cross the other side, that would have been the end of her journey on that show. So I felt most guilty and then that also triggered like an experience from my past where I lost my mom in a similar manner where I didn't get to do enough to save her so that's what exactly made me go emotional so that's my hardest emotion okay you see the thing is me and big brother I heard that outside the house they were counting scores we still have scores to settle so I kept begging big brother for pencils and mirror because on the show they're not allowed to carry pencils and mirror or have it along at any point except doing tasks the only task is always retrieved from us so I never got the chance to show it as much but I promise you every chance I got I made it count okay. I want every other task in the show well as I said earlier it's a drama show when they were auditioning me they asked me do you, are you dramatic do you have drama and I was like of course I'm filled with drama so I brought drama so I, I, there's nothing it's, my game did this well even when they call me from BBN, they call me the most talked about, the most popular. And that's yeah. the whole essence of going to the show. I, I, I did achieve that. So okay. Didn't affect me any fun. And, and a lot of Besides, okay. we had a lot of fun. We were happy on the show. Go to Stanini page and laugh. Yeah. <laughs> because it wasn't my phone I held the first. It was okay. Ibuka's phone. He okay. showed me personally a video of me pregnant. And that's it. I was wondering, did Nini impregnate me? When am I going to give birth? God, what am I going to call the baby? Uh, I wasn't sure. It was my biggest shocker. My pregnant okay. girls. And then when you got hold of your phone? Alright. Well, 250,000 followers at the time. It was a shocker. From what? On Instagram. From how many were you? I was 400. I was practically nobody in my family. <laughs> I'm kidding. But then, now I have 300,000 followers. That's okay. Amazing. Lovers, I wake up in the morning and I see prayers from people and they're like, I hope you step out today in shaking, 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 my husband. I'm like, mm, thank you. Well, when he told me she had a boyfriend initially, I, can't, I try to keep my distance, but that house is really small. So what okay. goes around definitely comes around. So we had to continue our friendship. And then I understood what she was saying. I respected it and I controlled my expectations. And we continued as friends. We're still friends till now. She's still with her boyfriend. And I'm with my, my orange drink. Yes. Sipping and minding my business. <laughs> I'm looking for parent my bro. Why? Because first of all, it's the sentimental thing because it's my guy. I want my guy to win. And then he's paid the most for the show. Like he's suffered a lot and he's held his head up high. Which is true. So I hope he wins. I think my money will win. Okay. Then I'm looking at it from the outside. So. Okay. Yeah. Get to move her. She's amazing. Okay. She's amazing. Okay. My art, I want to put my art out there. I want 
both in galleries, locally, internationally, I want to do exhibitions. I have a lot to say. As you guys can see, I'm very in touch with my emotions and art is about being emotional and putting yeah. on paper. So I got you. Look out for my art. Check me on Instagram, sagat underscore. That's S-A-G-A-R-T underscore. And also for me, fitness, I want to work with fitness brands, modeling, as you can see. I want to work with fashion brands. Come to me, call my manager. I got you. Whatever you have.